Good evening. Did the state's first needle exchange program cause an increase in drug use? At first glance, that's what it looks like. But the Centers for Disease Control says that's not true. News Channel 15's Kelly Roberts is here to tell us what happened, why the CDC had to get involved, and if critics are buying it. Kelly. Well, how does someone inject more frequently but not use more drugs? The CDC says it's because of the drug they're using, and it wrote the state's health department to explain. Uh, in an op-ed, Indiana Attorney General Curtis Hill writes the programs are successful in slowing the spread of disease, but has shown some negative outcomes. He wrote drug users receiving clean needles reported injecting more frequently after the start of the program, from five times a day on average to nine times a day. Hill was citing a recent study by the CDC which was believed to show participants of the Scott County Needle Exchange Program increased drug use since starting the program. Some people are against these. They think they increase crime, they increase drug usage. There's been 20 years of data collected to say that they do neither of those things. And the CDC says those years of studies still hold true. Researchers wrote the state health commissioner to say the study was not clear. And in fact, drug use among participants has not gone up and stayed stagnant. They said participants in Scott County were using a drug that had a chemical to make it hard to dissolve. So users had to use more water to dissolve it than would fit in one syringe. So for one drug episode, they may inject one to four times. Allen County Health Commissioner Dr. Deborah McMahon says the CDC warns counties starting the exchange programs against collecting too much data to avoid this type of confusion. Until they show me something to disprove and, and you know disavow my trust, I trust their, their research. They know what they're doing. Still, Hill says in his criticism of the program that we need to recognize the dangers of eroding personal accountability. Since the Allen County Needle Exchange Program started in November 2016, it's seen 140 patients and eight people have gone there to seek treatment. Live in the newsroom, Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15.